Hello, this is Mr. Grotsky, and we are doing the model atom compound mixture demonstration. Uh, also quiz, in that I'm going to ask some questions a little bit later on in this video regarding uh, what you see in front of you. So as I put a couple of things in front of you, okay, and I put some nuts here. These nuts are all the same size. These nuts represent the same type of atom. Again, we have to use models continuously in uh, chemistry because we're dealing with things that we can't really see on atomic level. We'll learn about some of the things that we are seeing. So it's important to use our definitions and our, uh, uh, using them correctly with what we see and be able to extrapolate our ideas to the visual models. Okay, so this represents one atom as I'm pointing. Nice cuticles, yeah? All right, any case, so this is one atom, and a group with the same type of atoms is an element. So I'm showing you an element. Uh, assuming all of these are the same, they are represented, you should know, of course, they're the same because they have the same number of protons. Okay, but of course they're the same shape. All right, now, I'll push these to the side, and now I have some more atoms. Now, these are some bolts here. These bolts are also atoms. They have different shapes, but they're singular, so they're atoms. Now, if I add uh, some other atoms, I have right here a mixture of two different atoms. You'd call this a uh, heterogeneous mixture of two different atoms. Now, they can chemically bond, and if they chemically bond, they stick together. And that's not so far different from what really happens. And now, two different elements combine to make a compound. Interesting. Maybe. All right, so I have this compound. Let's put the compound to the side. Now, notice a compound is, its singular unit is a molecule. A molecule, by definition, is two different atoms chemically bonded. Okay? And, of course, I can add more atoms, bigger or smaller, and I could add more compounds. Notice these compounds over here have the same um, structure in sense of two washers, a, um, a, a nut, and a bolt. So these are made up of the same ratio of atoms, and we call the individual component the molecule, and a group of the same type of molecules, of course, we're calling a compound. Okay, so this represents a heterogeneous mixture of two different compounds and an element. All right. And I can add some more stuff to the mix. And, of course, this is also a heterogeneous mixture, in this case, of two compounds and two different elements. All right, so let's go to uh, the quiz portion. I'm going to give you um, an example uh, to actually test and tell me. In the form, you're going to tell me what you see. What you're going to write is you're going to write first, if it's a mixture, you see a heterogeneous mixture of two compounds, three compounds, so forth. So let's continue. So let's look at number one. Oh, this isn't uh, number one. Okay, I can do this. Number one, what do you have there? Well, don't say homogeneous because it's not necessary because the answer to this, of course, is always homogeneous. This is a substance, so there's only one of two substances, obviously a compound or element. Uh, so is that an element or a compound? Write that in for form number one. Okay. Number two. All right. Where's my number two? All right. Now, number two, what would we say for number two? Let's move them across. Okay. Now, in this case, if you think that this is a compound, you wouldn't say homogeneous or heterogeneous. You'd say compound. If you think it's an element and only an element, you would say element. If you think it's a mixture, you better tell me homogeneous or heterogeneous. And if it's a mixture, you must tell me if it's a mixture of one compound, two compounds, or a mixture of compounds and elements. In this case, if you think it's a mixture of, let's, say, let's pretend this is compounds, you would say it's a mixture of two different compounds. So this is a homo or heterogeneous mixture of what two things? All right, that's number two. Number three. Okay, what do you see here? What do you see in number three? If you think it's just a compound or an element, you tell me so. Or if you think it is a uh, mixture, tell me it's a homogeneous mixture of what or a heterogeneous mixture of what exactly. That's number three.
Okay, moving on to number four. Same idea. If you think this is a compound or element, tell me. How many is there or how many there isn't? Okay, so this is a compound or element or a mixture. Compound, element, or mixture. So if it's a compound, it's a compound, element, or element. If it's a mixture, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? And it's a mixture of what? Okay, moving on. Number five. Number five. Is it a compound? Get the five out of the way, maybe. Okay. Is it a compound, mixture, or an element? If it is a mixture, a mixture of what? Is it homo or hetero and what, a mixture of what? Okay, that's number five. And number six. Tell me what this is. Compound, element, or mixture? Number six. And finally, let the last one. What exactly are you looking at? Let me see so we can see the seven. Okay. Compound, mixture, or element. If it's a mixture or a compound, you tell me. All right. Let's continue on. Ending piece. And of course, these represent atoms. So this represents a homogeneous, heterogeneous mixture of atoms. All right. This, of course, as we talked about, is your compound. And these are your elements. All right. In any case, not sure why I continued on, but I uh, hope you understood the lesson, and um, I should be emailing you back the results of this quiz as you take it. Okay? See ya.